Hello, and welcome to another blend t Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about adding animations to your character. Um, so first of all, let's load up our save. So we have our character with the rig, but and we want to animate it. So how can we do that in a very easy way? Actually, not in an easy way, but in a practical way. First of all, we need to change the layout of um, the user interface to be more suited for animation. So what you do is go here, click, and select animation. And now we have the layout changed to this. But it's not perfect for my purpose so I'm gonna change it around a bit so I'm gonna click this here on this corner and drag it down so this uh, two separations become one drag this over here drag this here now drag the 3d view over this one expand the view of this window it's kind of like a window also change the type of this window to an NLA editor also click top shit and select action editor now we're ready to animate so um, basically animating in blender can be done very practical using NLA strips basically we animate parts of a character and using the NLA strips we can uh, blend the animations with each other so they're kind of like part of a bigger picture for example if I want a character to be walking I can create an animation for his legs walking and another animation for his hands moving around the body and when I combine those two animations it looks like the character would be walking that's an example and uh, this can be very practical if you want for example the character while well, he's walking to do something else with it with his hands without actually having to do a specific animation for the character walking while he does something else with his hands just to separate animations so um, let's animate the walk cycle first of all we click here on new and we name this animation like walking just walk press enter and we're at frame 1 so let's first of all let's press shift A and add the cube and press S and shift Z to scale it on all the axis except the Z axis scale it up and we're gonna use this as ground ground reference like this so we already put the legs in a sort of walking position already Let's select this five bones and you search keyframes for location and rotation. You press I and select location and rotation. Good. Now you can go to frame 50, 15, and we'll go down now. So they would push even further and hit move down a bit. Description for location rotation. Now using the scroll wheel we can zoom in here and by clicking the scroll wheel we can drag around the view. So we can see the separate keyframes better. I got frame 40.
again. Select the bones. Insert keyframe. Keyframe 45. Again, with this deck back. Well, just run forward. Can insert keyframes for all the bones. Goes like this. Got frame sixty. keyframes every 50 frames and basically what a keyframe is I forgot to explain that is basically the program remembers the position of the bones to be selected at that position and he automatically fills in the position between those frames so next is frame 75 Can use our keyframes for, for this bones. And now at the end frame, which is at frame 90, what you can do is press A here to deselect all the keyframes. Press B to enter in a square select mode, select the beginning keyframes, press ctrl C to copy them and ctrl V to paste them. And now if you press alt A you can actually see the whole animation. So basically that's our walking animation. Now since the animation is finished, first of all I'm going to press F2 to bring up the save as menu and if I press the plus key on the numpad key I can automatically in increment the number between after the name of the save so I can save different versions with each progress press enter and I've saved now I can press this snowflake here and what it does it now has converted the walking animation to an NLA strip NLA strips are much more flexible than actually actions because what we can do we can scale them up and if you press Alt A, it's it's slowed down because even though the animation is the same because we scaled it up, we made it to run on a much higher number of frames. Basically, let's undo that. What you can also do is we can duplicate them to make it look even more like a box cycle. So he takes more steps. Good. Let's delete this. And now let's add another action for his hands. And we're going to call it hands walk. No, he's not walking on his hands, but it's the animation the hands would do while he's walking. Now, I'll select all his bones and press Alt R and Alt G to reset its position. And now, let's model the hand, let's uh, animate the hands. Now, I'm gonna select the wrist bone here and press R and Z so I can rotate on the Z axis more like this and give it more on the inside like this. Yeah, that's much better. So I'll insert a keyframe for these bones here, just so it remembers that's the position they need to be in. 
doesn't matter everything anything else and it's a location for actually the location let's look at the first frame of the walking animation we w we want the hands to be like in a opposed opposed to the position of the leg so like if the left uh, leg is forward the right uh, the right hand will be forward and the left hand will be back like this so we search keyframes for location and now moving 50 frames forward Move them closer to the body like this. Location frame 40. Oops, wrong bone. Location another 50 frames. I insert keyframes for location. Now over to 60. It's kind of like the apex. So it goes like. Wait, I screwed something up. His hands are supposed to be like this actually. And it should be like this. So it was like this. Then we go to frame 75. Insert keyframe from locations. And at frame 19, the hands are at the apex. So let's play the animation out. And as you can see, even though I animated only the, the arms, now let's convert this to an NLA strip also. So I'm going to save. And if I move this over here after that animation and I play them, you can see that his legs move but his hands don't. And now his hands don't but the legs don't. So now I hope this helps you to understand how the NLA strips actually work and we have this we can also add another animation like say a uh, head scratch select all the bones reset them I think I need to move uh, Oh, that strip is a bit longer. <laughs> okay. And we had a new action. And I'll call it head scratch. And again, reset all the positions. And I want to hide these animations. And let's put some keyframes. So, when the animation would come, his hand would be somewhere around here. So I had a keyframe for location here. Also, I think I also need to control actually all these bones here. So I will press I and insert for location and rotation for all these bones. So, my frame 50, his hand will go like would go something like this 
location rotation. Right now I'm only keyframing the position of the hands and later I'll return to them to modify the actual rotations. Now you don't have to ha make NLA strips have the exact same length, but I always think it's somewhat practical. And frame 60, it should be right on the head. He'll stay there for. Why not another 50 frames with 60, 75? And at 19, he'll start to get his ha hand back to the previous position. Good. So that's the now let's control the other bones. So as it goes like this, we actually need to add another keyframe for the elbow bone. And as he moves somewhere around here, I need to move the elbow around here. So it goes like this. That's a lot better. And at the end of the animation, we want the elbow to be back in its previous position. Right. So now we've set that. Let's look at the other bones. Just like this bone here, rotate it on its z axis. No. I think it's its y axis, yes. Uh, to reach something on the axis of the bone instead of the global y axis, you press R. And you press Y once for the global y axis and another time for the bone's y axis. And rotate the hand like this. Insert keyframe. Did I say location? Um, press Alt I to remove a keyframe. So it's supposed to go like this and press Alt Y and it's a keyframe for location and rotation. And it gets this position. And let's rotate it again. and rotation. Also, this hand should be somewhere around here. Location. So it'd be like... Well, you need to adjust an animation, you know how it is. Now, as the hand goes down here, we can actually reset the position of this bone. Good. But we want the bone to maintain its position at that frame. So instead of frame for rotation here, 
and let's see again how it goes so it gets to send in position here and he start sort of scratching like this but first and actually add keyframes for these two bones as he sends get in position and now add a little bend as he's scratching actually we can add keyframes in between those parts to make the animation look more lively and as it gets to its beginning at uh, to end we reset the position and we insert keyframes then we can actually freeze this and that's a scratch now in the next tutorial I will show you exactly how to use these strips to create an animation and how to render it.